Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Civil Life. I'm in my garden. I'm outside. Hear the birds? Birds singing again. Okay. So, today, what we're going to do is a garden haul. And no, I didn't go out. <laughs> I still haven't been out of my yard. I haven't been past my sidewalk. I mean, the mailbox, okay? I, I've been to the mailbox. <laughs> I've been over on the other side of the sidewalk watering the grass. <laughs> I watered the grass. What are you doing in the quarantine? Has your quarantine lifted and you out shopping and running around and doing all the stuff? I'm not doing that. Nope. I'm still uh, not going to do that because I don't think it's safe for me. It's not safe for me. It may be safe for a lot of other people, but it's not safe for me. And um, people are still getting sick. One of my daughters, co-workers, they just found out got sick. She has the virus. He or she, I don't know if it's a he or she because they don't give their name, but she works in the same area with my daughter. So, the virus is still alive. <laughs> I'm not going outside. But, remember my whole thing to my channel, Living the Civil Life. Hi, welcome to the Civil Life. Uh, living the Civil Life. See? Silver. 68. <laughs> One of the people that um, they say is not safe for. So my whole thing about it is to learn how to do things differently in your life to help yourself and ask for help when you need help or you need something or you want something. So, you know, in this environment, I, everybody knows I can't go out, but my all of my children and my husband are essential workers so one of my daughter two of my daughters actually work in a grocery store one works in a pharmacy and one works in the actual store but the one that works in the pharmacy is out of the city so she can't help me either <laughs> but my daughter that's in the grocery store in the grocery stores nowadays they have flowers. They have plants. <laughs> so I started saying, can you look and see if they have any plants that I might like? And she did. She found me some that I might like. So I'm going to show them to you all today. Okay. We're going to start with the first one. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Can you see this? Look at the color. Look at the color of those leaves. The leaves. See that berry on it? It's black. This is a black pearl ornament pepper. Black pearl ornament pepper. But it's an ornament in the sense that um, it's really, really hot. It's it, um, they said it's, the pepper is actually edible. It turns from red to this deep color black. And once it gets that color, ooh, once it gets that color, everything is hot. They said it's very, very hot. Be careful if you're not a, a person that likes peppers. Okay, so I'm going to put, it's supposed to be in the sun. I don't have a lot of sun. Um, I looked it up and it said, yeah, it says sun right here. But I'm going to see if I can get away with, um, like, maybe five to six hours of sun. But I got um, four of these because I'm going to try them in, like, a couple of different places. Okay. And to help with my herb garden that I'm working on, uh, 
my husband got me some spearmint. See it? It's getting a little dry because it is dry. I mean, it's getting a little dead leaves. So this one is kind of hurt because I need to water it. But here's, here's a better looking one. Ah, spearmint. It's the herb spearmint. So I got um, three of those. Spearmint. And I got another Thai basil. I like Thai basil. It's really good on, on a lot of different dishes. So that's a Thai basil. And then, um, I really hope this grows because my daughter likes it. It's chamomile. She loves chamomile tea and you can, mosquito, and you can make the tea from it. Chamomile. I got two chamomile. All of these are for my herb garden. Okay. Now. That was the herb garden. Now here's the other things for my little other little areas in my in my garden. So um I got this. This is called Creeping Jenny. And this works really good. See how it's it runs when you put it in a pot, a flower pot, and it just you it's a they call it a spiller. A filler. A thriller and a spiller. This was a spiller. So I have two of these. Um, these are called, we call them Creeping Jennies. Creeping Jennies. Two of those. And then I got two of these. This is called a Gora. Isn't that pretty? Butterflies. Love this. I really hope that uh, it'll work out in my yard because I have a lot of shade and it needs, once again, it needs full sun. But I'm hoping that the, I can get like five or six hours of sun and it'll look pretty. Isn't it beautiful? Doesn't it look like something that you want to put in a flower arrangement. You can use these in arrangements also. You can cut them away and use them in flower arrangement. And then the last thing I got is my daughter got me all of these things. But, um, my daughter got me these these two. See? And this this has a little, can you see the little purple flower on it? And the leaves are kind of purple, they dark. And this has purple in the leaves. Doesn't this look good together? I love it. This is called Persian Shield. Once again, I'm trying to do something that's not ordinary, but I'm gonna see if it works. So I have two of these. And uh hey, it looks pretty good. So that's my haul. That is my garden haul for today. Thank you to my husband and my daughter for stopping by. My husband went to uh Lowe's to get something for him. He had to repair something in on the car, I think. In the a car or a house, something. He had to repair something. And I asked him to go by the garden shop. So he got me some stuff out of the garden shop. And my daughter works at the grocery store. And I asked her, could she go look at the plants and see if they had any plants outside? Because they, you know, they have plants outside this time of year. So that's how I got it. Yay! I like it. Okay, so now I hope you all are having a good day. I hope you're um everybody's safe and everybody's healthy and everybody's being careful and watching out for the the guidelines even though they're we're opening up we're opening up and we know that the 
they say the economy has to open at some point we know it does have to open um, but we have to be careful and you have to use your own wisdom to know if it's safe for you to go out or not okay all right so you know, don't be depressed don't be stressed know as long as you're alive there is hope so now we're gonna go see if I can work in this garden over here Ooh, bye, -bye.